video is going to include discussions about racism. And because I am white, none of these thoughts about racism in this video are my original thought. Holy shit, what did you do? White people are racist, all men are misogynistic, all cisgender people are transphobic, all members of a majority are biased against the members of the minority or oppressed group. In fact, most people are racist, misogynistic, transphobic, ableist, etc. Are you me? Black YouTubers. You racist bastard. I am racist, classist, ableist, and I probably contribute to many other systems of marginalization that I am not aware of. <laughs> Weird thing about social justice warriors, they seem to think that we can't empathize. Or maybe a little bit, yes. A little bit you can get an insight into a person's life and the difficulties they go through, but you can't truly understand it. How could you possibly understand a woman? How could you possibly understand a transgender person? How could you possibly understand a homosexual, bisexual, lesbian person, or whatever the case may be? Uh, it's a bit that you could not know, for you cannot actually say in your own words, in your own life, since you do not go through the experience yourself. Well, yeah, you can. You can actually empathize with people and realize what's going on and work on facts rather than the idea that everyone's a sexist. They have these ridiculous arguments. If you're not transgender, you must be transphobic. It's natural. Isn't that what we're having in the discussion? You know, any discussion really, because there are good and bad people and the bad people are worth engaging. We're not saying it's all. If we criticize a feminist, we're not automatically criticizing all feminists, as in every single person who uses that label. And we're certainly not criticizing every single woman on the planet. Equally, if we criticize a person who's transgender, we're not criticizing every single person who happens to be transgender. This should be obvious to anyone with half a fucking brain. 